Hi, this is Larry. What I want to talk to you a little bit about today is how to create a Google Doc for assignments. This is particularly for my assignments at MATC. Uh, what you want to do is go into your Google Drive and then you want to open up the folder that you have for your class or the specific folder, specific folder for the assignment or whatever work you're doing. But in this case, I have a folder that I did demo in a previous uh, video about how to create a folder for instructor and sharing with instructor. This is my class folder right here. And I can click on it here and you can see it's highlighted. So all you have to do is double click on it. We'll open the folder. You can see I have nothing in it at this time. And what I want to do is create a Google document. Google has I have several different uh, apps that can allow you to create documents for uh, collaboration and community building uh, and communication. Uh, particularly, they all emulate what you already have been probably using with Microsoft. Uh, they have uh, Spreadsheet, uh, which is very similar to or is actually exactly the same as Excel. You also have Presentation, Google Presentation, which is exactly the same as PowerPoint. And you also have this thing called Google Document itself that is like a uh, Microsoft Word document. And so if I want to create, now I want to do is create a new document. Where do I go? Well, on the left over here, there's this nice new uh, button. And you click on the new button. And then you can see down here, it gives you a choice of these different apps. And there are even more of them that you can pick from. So what I want to do is be able to go in here and click Google Docs. And it says, do you want to create a shared folder? Yes, you do because you want to share it with the instructor. Okay, so you hit OK. And there you go. If you notice the Google document itself, the tool looks and works just the same as you've used on any of the other Microsoft tools. Up on the left here, the first thing you're going to do is to name the document. Always make sure you name the document. In this case, you always want to use your last name and whatever the document is about. So in this case, I'm going to say assignment one, just for grins here. Okay. The other thing too is the little icon next to it indicates what fold, folder it is in. So you can see here it's in the correct folder. If you go on the right, this is who it's shared with, meaning who can who's who's going to be able to see the document. And you see right away it's shared with Tony. That's the uh, Stanislavski, and that was the person I picked as the instructor when I did the demo the first time for the folder. So basically, every time you create a document in a folder, and it's the folder is already shared, the document will all be set for you. You don't have to worry about sharing it with the right people. So what you want to do now is then to create the document and start typing. Well, in this case, what all we have to do is since I have my name up here and I've identified what is assignment for, I can start typing. Now, what you want to do is be able to, uh, all, to make sure that every part of the assignment is covered or what you have to submit as a deliverable is indicated and then it's clearly being able to see by the instructor. For instance, on assignment one, in most of my cases, I have uh, two or three different uh, uh, things that need to be submitted. So let's just say, number one, the first thing is getting to know you. So I want to say a little bit about myself. This is Larry. Uh, I, uh, I am an instructor. Okay. And I can just keep typing just to show you that how this works. And it just keeps where it'll wrap around and blah, blah, blah. And it seems, it seems different words. And I can put paragraphs. I'm going to do what I want with it. It's that simple. It works just the same. If you want to insert things, you can go up here and click on insert images, links, drawings, tables, whatever you want to do. You can format different things, highlight words, etc. If I want to change words, for instance, make this one, I want to make it a bigger, make sure people can see it and make it bold. There you go. And now something else I want to show you too is that when you're typing, Google automatically saves everything uh, when you change when you uh, when you type. So you never have to worry about hitting the save button. So every change you make is automatically saved on the document. So for instance, keep your eye up here at the top. And what I'm going to do is start and see what it says is I'm going to move my cursor off this little bit, but keep it up here, your eye at the top, and I'm going to start typing again. And what does it say? It says saving. So basically right now it's automatically saving. Okay. And I stop and all changes saved in drive. Isn't that great? You don't have to worry about that again. So basically, you have a document set up that's already shared with the instructor. You don't have to worry about the permissions on that. It's got your name in it. Now, let's say if I want to do something else, uh, uh, submit to a second part uh, of something. And uh, what I want to do now is to go and submit something. Let's say I want to take a screen capture. You may, for some people, and some things, have to take screen captures of things. So I'll hit 2. 
and I uh, my second thing I'm doing and I want to take a screen capture and what we mean by screen capture is being able to take what's on your screen and capture it to the clipboard and then be able to put that into the document itself in Windows that will be called the snipping tool and it's located with all your tools if you're using a newer window where you can use your fingers you can actually swipe down at one corner for that but it's the snipping tool S-N-I-P-P-I-N-G and otherwise you can also if you're in Macs you can just use different commands well one of my favorite tools here of course is the uh, is Hootsuite which I'll be showing in some of my classes later about what I like about it and how it works as a tool and basically what I'm going to do since I'm in uh, the uh, Mac I just basically hit uh, command control and then shift and then I hit four and it allows me to use a sniping tool and you can see it gives me a little icon up here that allows me to indicate what I'm uh, showing here and I can go in here and capture this this piece of it what I'm showing right now and listen to what happens when I finish it takes a little like a photograph of it I then go back into my assignment back to my assignment and where I want to put it in here how I space down a little bit to make sure I have a spot here and then I will then paste and it will automatically that will come into play you just see here in a second and then voila you have it pasted in there if you click on it you can make it smaller or bigger resize it you want to etc there you go and now the other thing too is that that's a very simple way of adding things you don't have to today's world with all the cloud tools you need to begin to use to be able to capture images from the screen and be able to put them in documents no longer do you have to capture something put it down onto a hard drive and then have to load it up as a picture okay so I want you to keep make sure that you learn how to do this is a very valuable tool somebody just was telling me the other day how important it was for them they didn't know how to do this and once I explained it to them they said wow this is what everybody else is doing in my department I said yep exactly um, another thing then too is if you're gonna put a link in here then too is basically a simple thing is you're gonna put a link to something in there um, I know for some uh, some assignments you might have to link things like folders or different things uh, if you're going to go link uh, and uh, do something like that you want to go into capture the link so in this case I'm gonna go into capture the link for my folder and here's my folder and show you just how to do this is that um, get the link you highlight I'm back in my drive where my my folder is and I want to share that I hit get link and it's copy that I'm gonna copy that only people see the access folder uh, I'm gonna uh, then copy this uh, totally to my um, clipboard and then I can go down inside of here and inside of here I can paste the link and that's the link for it. The link for any folders or any Google Docs or any Google folders should always be taken from the share uh, the share facility uh, that's when you're gonna get uh, the correct link do not trust the link at the top of the URL that's because you're inside your account without going into a lot of detail just do what I showed you there anyways there you have it there you have a nice document that's all set and ready to go uh, and you can ready to submit this I'm gonna make this a little larger there you go and you can see how easy it would be to read there's item one there's item number two there's item number three